Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to IT TV. In our lesson today, I'll be explaining to you more on statistics. What is statistics and how can we represent data in a statistical manner? Well, boys and girls, when you look into the topic of statistic, the first thing that should come into, into your mind is what is a pie chart? Well, boys and girls, a pie chart is basically displays the distribution of a set of data and is able to clearly show the fraction of the whole of each category of data it represents. It uses sector of a circle to represent the data. Hence, the larger the sector, the larger the fraction of that data. Now, what is important here is, in order for us to represent data statistically, we are creating a pie chart. Now, a pie chart is drawn in a circle. Now, in earlier topics we have done in circles, the bigger the angle, the bigger the value it will be. So therefore, in a pie chart, the bigger the angle of uh, the circle, the bigger the value of a given data. Let's look into this example. The sporting preferences of 720 students in a school are shown in the table. The angle of the sector which will represent the sport is calculated in the last column. So what basically we are trying to do here is, in order for us to draw a pie chart, the first information that we should obtain or calculate is the angle sector. How much does the angle represent for that particular sports activity. Once we have drawn that, only then we can tabulate it into a statistical data in a pie chart manner. Let's look. Favorite sport, we have been given five favorite sports that would be badminton, basketball, tennis, football and swimming. In our earlier discussion, we were told that the total number of students is 720. The breakdowns, Badminton 136, basketball 180, tennis 84, football 210 and swimming 110. Now in order for us to calculate the angle sector, what we need to do here is we take the total number of students for badminton example 136 divided by the total number of uh, students that is 720 times 360 degrees. Now, why are we timesing 360 degrees? Because in a circle, one whole turn is 360. That's the reason why we are timesing with 360. So we should obtain 68 degrees. Well, boys and girls, to make it short, we have an answer that is, for badminton, we have 68 degrees, basketball, 90 degrees, tennis, 42 degrees, football 105 degrees and swimming 55 degrees. Once we have established all these angle sectors, then the next thing that we need to do is to uh, draw the pie chart. Now, if you look into this pie chart, now, since we have accumulated or we have uh, deduced all the uh, relevant angle sectors, we put in into the chart, the pie chart. Uh, accordingly, we have football 105, swimming 55 degrees, badminton 68 degrees, uh, tennis 42 and the rest is for basketball. This is how we should attempt in drawing a pie chart. Let me reiterate, there are two steps in drawing a pie chart. Firstly, you got to get the angles right. Secondly, in drawing the pie chart. Let's look into some questions. The pie chart shows the profits made by five departments in a company. So we are dealing with profits made by five departments. If you look into the pie chart, we have five departments. Firstly, supermarket 42%, electrical goods 10%, ladies wear unknown, sporting goods 17%, men's wear 13%. Now, what is the question? Answer the following questions from the pie chart. A. What percentage did the ladies wear department represent? If you look into the pie chart, boys and girls, you will notice that 
for all other departments percentages are given except for the ladies wear department how do we tabulate the figure for ladies wear department now in order for us to get the answer for ladies wear department you must remember that since this pie chart is represented in percentage therefore the total percentage would be 100 percent therefore in order for us to solve this problem we should take 100 percent minus 13 plus 17 plus 42 plus 10 in brackets that is uh, for all the other departments and we should obtain 18 percentages 18 percent would be your for for your ladies department this is how we do this question let's look into the next question the same question part b if the ladies wear department made 63,000, how much did the supermarket make? Now, this question is a bit more interesting. Now, we are told that the ladies department uh, makes $63,000 in profit. So, how much did the supermarket make? Now, it is very important for you to distinguish certain facts. Now, what you must remember here since we have already obtained ladies wear department the percentage is 18 percent and 18 percent represents 63 thousand dollars so how much the supermarket represents that is the issue here now if you look into the pie chart the supermarket represents about 42 percentages so therefore in order for us to obtain the value of profit since 18 percent is 63 thousand then 42 percent 42 percent times 63,000 divided by 18 we should obtain 147,000 that is how we do this question let's look to part c what is the total profit of the company now there are two ways in doing this question obviously one of you may try to attempt to find a profit individually meaning since we have five department stores you will try to obtain profits for each department store I'm not saying it's wrong it is correct but there is always a faster method in solving this question now what can we do now since they ask what is the total profit and we are given uh, the pie chart in the form of percentages so therefore the maximum the highest uh, percentages that would be 100 percent that would be your uh, total percentage now that would be your maximum profit so therefore it is always much more easier to calculate on 100 percent so how do we go about it now since we know earlier 18 percent represents 63,000. therefore 100 percent equals to 100 times 63,000 divided by 18 we should get 350,000 so this is how we should attempt this question obviously you may ask me um, if i were to find individually is it wrong no it is not wrong it's just a matter of techniques in mathematics you must remember the faster you can get an answer that will be much more wiser because we are dealing with time in your examination and time is always not uh, in our side so therefore we should find an easier faster route to solve the problem let's turn to the next question the main products of a fast food outlet are burgers 30 percent fries 25 percent soda 20 percent cream pies 10 percent and ice cream represent this in a pie chart well boys and girls let us look into our first question what are the informations given and what are they asking us to do now we have been given or we have been told that there are five main products of a fast food uh, outlet now the the percentage percentages are given except for ice cream i've indicated it in red now 
In order for us to build the pie chart, first of all, we need to know what are the respective percentages. Since I know the total percentages would be 100%, so to find ice cream, I take 100 less the remainder. All this 100 minus 30 minus 25 minus 20 minus 10, I should obtain 15%. That is my first step. The next issue here is, in order for me to represent in angle, I got to convert the percentages into angles. How do I do it? Now, since I know the total percentages is 100%, so I take 30, 30% over 100% times by 360 degrees. Why are we multiplying with 360? Because one whole term is 360 degrees. So 30% I convert it into degrees, I should obtain 108 degrees. So I have to do the similar pattern for the remainder of the products. So for 25%, I take 25 over 100 times 360 degrees, I get 90 degrees. Likewise, for soda, 20% over 100 times 360 degrees, I get 72 uh, degrees. 10% converted, 10 over 100 times 360 degrees, I get 36 degrees and finally 15%, 15 over 100 times 360, I get 54 degrees. And if you add all this up, it should amount to 360 degrees. Therefore, 100% is equal to 360 degrees. These are the preliminaries that we should do. Then the final step here is, is to draw up your pie chart according to the uh, answer that we have obtained. Answers in terms of angles. So we can use a protector to draw that. So therefore, the next step would be to draw the pie chart. How are we going to draw the pie chart? Now, since we have already calculated the angles for the respective products, I can use a protector to draw the pie chart or on this board, I have roughly estimated now, for burgers, I know it's 108 degrees, so I draw an angle 108 degrees, I get for burgers. Okay, then we have fries, that is 90 degrees, fries 90 degrees, soda 72 uh, degrees, uh, cream pies 36 degrees, and finally ice cream 54 degrees. So this is how we tabulate your pie chart. Remember, what are the steps you must remember? Firstly, you have to find in this particular question, you got to get the total percentages to be 100%. In this particular case, ice cream is missing. So if we got to find what is the percentage for ice cream. Next, we have to convert percentages to angles by times 360. We have obtained all the angles and finally, we go into drawing your a pie chart. So there are three steps that you have to perform in order for us to draw a beautiful pie chart here. So this is how we attempt this particular question. Let's move on to the next question. The pie chart shows the number of teachers and students in a school. A. Calculate the value of Y. Well, boys and girls, looking into this question, First question, part A, they are asking us to find the value of Y. Now, if we note in this question, we have two sets of Y. Firstly, we have 2Y, we have 7Y. 7Y represents the girls. 2Y, unknown at the moment. And we have an angle 162 degrees representing the boys. Now, how do we find the value of Y? First step is, you have to ask yourself, am I not correct to say that 7y plus 2y plus 162 degrees must obtain 360? You are right. Why? Because since this is a circle, the angle of one turn is 360 degrees. Therefore, 7y plus 2y plus 162, we should obtain 
360 degrees. This is the first and most important uh, step that we should do. From here, everything will fall into place. 7y plus 2y, I get 9y equals 360 minus 162, I get 198. So therefore, y equals to 198, divide 9, I should get y to be 22 degrees. This is how we attempt for part A. Let us move on to part B then. B, if there are 462 female students, find Roman 1, the number of teachers, Roman 2, the number of female students. Well, boys and girls, let's turn to uh, part B. There are two parts to part B. The first part is they are asking us how many teachers are there. Part B, how many male students are there. Now, in our earlier calculation for part A, we have found out that Y is equal to 22 degrees. We have already found out 22 degrees. Now, in order for us to find teachers, if you note in the pie chart, we have boys, we have girls, but teachers are not indicated. So therefore, we have to presume that 2Y here represents the teachers. So I'm going to put it here as teachers. So this particular sector represents the teachers. Now, so I've indicated here teachers to be 2y now how much is the value of that angle since 2y equals to 2 times y equals to 22 that we have discovered so 2 times 22 we get 44 degrees now having done that just because i know the value of uh, the angle but that doesn't tell me how many teachers are there so we have to fall back on some information given in the question. What have we been given? We are told that girls 7y. Girls represents 7y. So 7y equals to 7 times y. y equals to 22. So 7 times 22, I get 154 degrees. Now, why did we find for the angle for the girls? Because in your note or in the question we were given 462 people represents female that is the girls so therefore obviously 154 degrees represents 462 female thus 444 degree for teachers for teachers 44 degrees represents 462 times 44 divided by 154, we should obtain 132 teachers. So this is how we do our sum. If you look very closely, the question is tricky in the sense that in order for us to locate the value for teachers, we have to find the angle for the females. Why? Because the values of the females were given angles not given so we have to find the angles then we equate the angle angle equals to the amount of females and thereafter since we know the angle for teachers we do this sum and we get the answer for teachers likewise for male students what are the information given we are told that male represents 162 degrees now angle given question is how many male students are there like in the earlier like in part b1 part b2 is also similar we have to make a statement what is the statement 154 degrees equals to 462 people or 462 female where did we get this information from the question itself so 154 degrees equals to 462 females therefore 162 degrees equals to 462 times 162 over 154 and we should obtain 486 boys 
So if you look into this particular question, this is an excellent question. Why? Firstly, they have not given uh, any other angles except for 162 degrees. We have been given 7y and 2y. Firstly, we have to find the values of y. So what is our understanding in order for us to find for y? Firstly, we must understand that in a circle, the total angle is 360. So that is how we get for y. Secondly, for teachers, we know it is 2y. Since we know how much is y, we get the answer for the teachers in terms of angles. But to obtain the value or the number of teachers, we have to look further into the question and what are the information given in the question we were told that there are 462 females but that is not enough why we know the value but what it represents in terms of the angle sector so we had to tabulate the figure for the girls we got it at 154 degrees likewise for male students we know the angles but what is the value this is how we did the sum and we got the answer so i hope boys and girls you have taken down some important notes here particularly in our uh, beginning of our lesson in terms of construction of the pie chart firstly you need to tabulate the angle sector if it is percentages given you have to divide with 100 percent times by 360 you get the relevant angles sector secondly in order for us to tabulate or to draw the pie chart we have to use your protectors to get your pie chart right and thirdly when you are calculating all these figures very importantly you have to find what is the total angle given if there is not any angle given then we have to find for the angles in order for us to obtain all the other information so I hope you have understood our lesson today. I hope to see you in another exciting and challenging lesson to come. Until then, bye from me.